hi guys welcome to the channel so here we are back again with another video and in today's video we will going to discuss how we can create the branches in IntelliJ and how we can push those branches onto github and how we can delete those branches from the remote repository on the github and also on the local system so basically we are going to see today how to create branches in IntelliJ and what are the high level branches are why do we need branches so these all are the topics we are going to discuss today okay next video we had already discussed like how we can push the project files onto github from our local machine to the github account so you can check my video here okay so basically what the branches are and why these are necessary okay so branches are necessary because many developers can work on multiple branches and then they can push their code onto a main branch which is a master branch so a developer should not work directly on the master branch they should create the feature branches which we call as a feature branch or the individual branch they can create and work on those independent modules and then they can push their code onto the master branch by creating a pull request okay also these are necessary when we want to resolve the merge conflicts as well so this is a high level diagram representing the feature branches and the main or the master branch present in the github repository so these are the individual feature branches which is feature 1 feature 2 and feature 3 and the individual developers can work on these branches for bug fixing for developing new features and for small code commits okay so suppose the developer one is working on making new features so he is working on a feature one branch as soon as his work is done he will commit the feature one branch to github okay and this is a feature two branch and the developer is working on the bug fixes as soon as the bugs are fixed so he will commit the feature two branch onto the github repository and as soon as the developer 3 starts working on the feature 3 branch with new features he will also make a commit with the feature 3 changes and commit to the github repository remember feature 1 feature 2 and feature 3 are just made out of the main or the master branch which is the default branch in the github repository as soon as the feature 1 feature 2 and feature 3 branches are pushed to the github repository then our work would be to create a pull request to merge these three branches to the main or the master branch okay because master branch we should not touch this main or the master branch directly and should not commit any uh, buggy code into this branch we should always as a best practice to create new branches as a feature branches and then create a pull request and then merge it to the master branch so this content we will see in the next video how we can create a pull request and merge it to the master branch now we will see how we can import our github project into the intellij and then we will see how we can create the branches in intellij and delete those branches now we will see how we can import our project from github to intellij and we have an option here for get from vcs so we need to copy the github url from the github account and then we need to pass that url here so let's just copy this url which is a repository url we have we just copied it and then we can pass the url here And then we can clone it and then we can clone this now as you can see our project is configured into IntelliJ and we have we have imported our project from github to IntelliJ so there are two ways to clone a project into IntelliJ so one was from the main screen and the other and the another one is from file we go to new 
and then we go to project from version control so here also we can provide the url of the github project that we have and then we can directly clone it okay but that is useful when you already have few projects open here in the intellij and then you want to open a new project in intellij okay so now we can see so this is the project that we cloned and now suppose we need to create the branches okay so as you can see here go to git now and then go to branches you see only one branch that is origin main is existing which is a local branch and also this is a remote branch as well so let's see in github account as well so we have only one branch which is a main branch and it is the default branch only so there is only one branch that is existing until now and create a branch so i'll name my branch as feature one and it is created and i'm switched to feature one branch okay so as you can see here i'm switched to feature one now and i'm not on main branch now so let's try to add some code and then we'll commit it so we have added this java file now and then let's commit it so it is an option for committing and this is an option for pushing okay so you can also do it from here as well if you want to commit and if you want to push so so it will show one file is changed sample program java file is changed now you can provide a comments here added one java file and then you can directly click on commit and push so it will ask whether you want to push the commits to test rep test repo so you can just directly click on push see here my, my changes are pushed now to the feature one branch so as you can see now feature one branch is committed and it is asking us to compare and create a pull request and then we can merge it with the main branch which is a default branch so as you also see here there are two branches now one is the default main branch is there and the another is feature one branch is there okay so there are basically two branches now you can see also here there is that is a feature one branch and that is a main branch which is a default branch so let's see what is the code in the feature one branch i'll click on it and there is a commit one minute ago okay added one java file so this is a commit one minute ago we had done it sample program dot java file we had committed okay as we saw there we had a one commit on the github branch which is a feature one branch we had committed okay so so there is also one option in the git command which we can see which is a show git log so in the git log as you can see here added one java file so we had added one java file just now and it is committed on the feature one branch last four minutes ago now let's just see how we can delete the feature one branch on the local as well as on the remote repository so just go to git go to branches click on it go to remote branches origin feature one and then there is a command to delete it so if you click on delete the remote branch from the github account would be deleted and all the commits would be lost okay all now switch to a feature one branch now so if i want to switch to the main branch again i can go to git and then i can go to branches and then i can go to this feature one and then i can also check it out but i am currently on feature one only so i will go to the main and then i will check it out so i am origin main now so as you can see here it's showing us the pop-up checked out new branch main 
from origin main okay so now my task is to delete a feature branch on the remote repository that we created so i will go to branches i will go to remote branches i will go to this origin feature one click on it and then i will delete so let's just go to the github account and check whether the feature one branch is deleted or not so as you can see here it is only showing one branch now and which is a main as the default branch we do not have any feature one branch now so if you like the video please subscribe to my channel for more such upcoming videos also provide your valuable feedback by commenting on the video